Today's magical video, we're having a look at the Memory Lane, a Charlie Brown's Christmas figure set. Collect the entire Peanuts gang from the television classic of Charlie Brown's Christmas. Recreate your favorite moments from the Christmas holiday special with these action figures and accessories. Let's grab the tape measure. I'm not gonna measure every single one of them, but on average, kind of give you a ballpark idea. Lucy just happens to be standing. Pigpen's about her height, and shoulder's a little bit shorter. So the figures are on, on average about five. In this case, Lucy is 5.3 inches in height, or in centimeters, the figures look at around 13 centimeters. Lucy happens to be 13.6. Yes, four figures. You get Lucy Van Pelt, you get Schroeder, and of course you get Pigpen. You get also a snowman, and judging by the look of the snowman, you can kind of ballpark idea whose snowman that actually belongs to. I guess I probably should have put that over there. Uh, but here are the individual figures. We'll kind of look at those, and we'll look at then all the accessories that come included with them. If you've collected any of the Memory Lane Christmas Charlie Brown figures in the past, these are on par with what you would normally expect. They're fairly poseable, actually. Some of the poseability, unfortunately, does um, cause some problems with the figures to stand, because I find, like, Lucy, for example, she's a little loose up here, like in the, uh, the knee area. Uh, but she does have foot articulation. I really don't know why you would need foot articulation specifically, but she does have foot articulation. I guess you could have her slightly walking, but yeah, she's gonna she's gonna topple over. She's in. Um, it, I'm guessing it is a winter jacket. I can't imagine she's just standing outside here in the cold. It's certainly going to be a snowy scene in a second. But she comes with this yellow. We're gonna call it a dress. I think it's more so a jacket, and then she has a pair of of green, a uh, green, yellow socks. That would be yellow, yellow socks to match the dress. And uh, she's gonna have a hat, which we will look at in a second. The face is classic Peanuts, right to the fact that they've got the kind of jagged mouth, which is something that the Peanuts are known for, especially the little small eyes. It does look a really a lot like Lucy. Uh, the figures here, if you wanted to go and pick them up now, for example, you'd have to go sourcing them out on eBay, but you can get them for a pretty affordable price depending on what year they were released. Um, I'm not sure what year this set was released. Possibly, I think it's like 2002, 2003. So the set is over 15 years old, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Uh, her head does have posability for posability that wide, that is. Arms rotate back and forth. Uh, she's got this weird thing with her arms, which allows her arms to swivel uh, up. This little piece here swivels in the forearm. I guess it's good if you want to put her on top of like her psychiatric help desk, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, so that's probably why that swivels. But she does also have swivel in the hands. Um, her waist swivels, and uh, her legs go back and forth. And she does have... Uh, well, it's not quite the same posability in the feet. Her posability actually relies more on the top than it does on the bottom here. Again, not a bad looking figure if you don't have Lucy. I guess the draw of this particular set is the psychiatric help desk, which so happens not to be here in the present, but uh, will be there pretty soon, I promise. Don't worry, it's coming. Next we have is Schroeder. Schroeder's sitting down almost vacant of something that's supposed to be here. Don't worry, I'll bring that in in a second. His posability is pretty much the same. Um, hands, the forearms, a little stiffer on Schroeder, and of course he's got the head posability. Legs don't do all that much because he's really gonna be sitting on something. We're talking about all these imaginary things that aren't currently happening. What's going on, reviewer? I'll bring those in in a second. Uh, but uh, good looking head sculpt, nice bright hair. 
I can't really imagine Schroeder ever walking around. Usually whenever you see him, he's sitting down playing the old piano, playing those ivories. Um, coloring again, very clean, very bright on this guy. He looks a lot like he does from the, the, the cartoon. Well, actually, you know what? Let's have a look at his tush. 2003, there you go. We knew that by looking at Schroeder's behind. 2003 is the answer to that. Uh, and then the other figure that we have that is sort of a weird throwing together of figures that we get in this deluxe set. Memory Lane obviously releases these guys individually as well. Well, like Charlie Brown's, the Linuses, for example, Sally's. Um, and then this set just happens to have a bunch of characters thrown together. And thrown together is sort of the literal word here. None of them really have any rhyme or reason as to why they're grouped together. Schroeder and Lucy, I could certainly agree to, but that would be something I would imagine seeing more so for the play, not necessarily outside. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I think one of my favorites, though, is Pigpen. Both in the show and in the figure, he's got these kind of the equivalent of those old brushes. If your mom ever brushed your hair with brushes like this, you have my condolences. It kind of feels very similar to like the old bristles of a bristle brush. They are plastic, so you have to be a little bit careful that they don't break off. But uh, there's something a little satisfying. Yeah, that's well, that's nice. I was going to say something very calming to running your hand across it. Kind of does remind you of when you used to get brushed. Apparently like a dog, by the way, I'm gesturing that. Um, none of these are posable. I mean, they're just sort of plugged right in there. And like him being Pigpen in the series, the cartoons, he's also got these little scuff marks all over his face. Big happy smile, though. Even if he stinks and nobody wants to hang around with him because he's all smelly and dirty... Pigpen looks pretty cool, I have to admit. It's a shame. I don't know what's going on with his legs, though. He's kind of got what I guess Lucy would have if you didn't see the, the dress covering over it. He's got hinges on the legs, but I don't really know what he's supposed to be doing. I mean, I, don't, I can't imagine why you would ever want to hinge him back that far. That's what he can do. Makes no sense whatsoever. Feet move forward and back, though. Um... The shoes are sort of just planted in place. You can't move those. The arms hinge back and forth. You got the same sort of thing happening with the arms and the hands. And uh, then he does have head articulation, which you gotta be careful. You don't accidentally <clears throat> squish these. Apparently that's the sound of squishing, at least on this channel it is. And uh, you wanna make sure you don't accidentally squish those. By far my favorite is probably Pigpen. I'm not saying that because I'm a smelly individual. I'm just saying in general, pig pen of this set of three figures is my favorite and then we've got the corresponding snowman to go along with him the snowman has zero posability but it is actually solid plastic well it's hollow plastic but it's not squishy plastic you know what kind of plastic i'm talking about where it feels almost like a dog toy you could squeeze it there's a little hole on the bottom no this is solid plastic it's just hollow plastic he's a happy looking snowman being considering he's covered in dirt here, the traditional jagged kind of cross hatching signs, your little uh, details there added to the side of the jack o' lantern, a jack o' lantern, the snowman, to make him look like he's covered in dirt. Um, again, really decent looking snowman. He doesn't really have any purpose. He, like I said, he doesn't have any posability to him. He's sort of just one of those guys that's, or girls, or, you know, non gendered, that are going to sit next to. Pig pen, and I guess logically it would make more sense. There we go. If we put pig pen right next to his snowman, so there are your three figures. Oh, sorry, sorry, three figures and a snowman. Let's have a look at the accessories that come included with them. So, for the accessories that come included with them, if you've collected any of the memory lane um, releases, the playing mantis memory lane sets, play mantis, I think is the distributor. Uh, they come with these little snow bottoms. The snow bottoms don't look all that much different from one another. Some of them are a little bit more flatter, but they share similar shape. I guess you can kind of connect them together, and that's probably the why, reasoning why they're curled the way they are. I think the standalone figures are also going to have similar little platelets here, which again, you can kind of connect together and make like a giant scene. Um, 
Uh, then, like, the figures will stand on top of them. I mean, some stand a little bit better than others. For example, according to the imaging on the back of the packaging, Schroeder's piano is supposed to sit on the snow. I don't think I've ever seen Schroeder sitting his piano in snow. I could easily be corrected by that. So it's just strange. Just throwing Schroeder with a piano out in the cold, forcing him to play Christmas melodies. And this one does have Christmas well, audio clips built in, and the batteries, I'm surprised, from 2003 still are fine. I don't have to change them yet, although I will show you in a second. The audio is a little, a little questionable. So you get those plates, um, and then of course you get the psychiatric help desk. This is one thing that, uh, I guess the main reasoning why I wanted to pick up this, because I don't think we've gotten ourselves the psychiatric help table before, and this good opportunity to display it probably would have, I guess you could make use of the stool on the side if you wanted to have Chuck sitting down and talking to Lucy. Of course, with Lucy, you're going to have to pay up five cents. And there's this little change there. The great sound of change. You can put that in there. Now, there is also, I'm going to put that right here. She also does come with a hat. Look at me introducing all these extra things. The hat is supposed to sit on her head, but there's no shape to it. There's nothing really telling you, oh, it's supposed to go here. So you're really just winging it until you get a place that the hat isn't going to fall off. It is going to fall off repeatedly, though, especially if you nudge or bump the figure. The little head, the little hat is going to fall off of her. There's nothing you can really do about it. You just sort of have to go with it. Pick it up. Carry, uh, just dust yourself off and be on your merry little way. There's these little uh, markings here on the side of her change jar. And a uh, little tip jar, I guess. And uh, you can, there's a thumb and there's four fingers. You just plug that into her hand and she can hold the change. I keep wanting to say change, the little tip jar, the little five cent can. She can hold that in her hand. And then what we can go ahead and do, we'll just move all these figures out of the way. They're serving no purpose right now. Don't worry, we'll make ourselves a nice little wintry wonderland in a second. You can then take the table. You can put Lucy behind it. I just want to show you how everything comes together. You do have to attach this top part to the front part of the desk. And then you can just put Lucy behind it. Which, for Christmas, that is a great looking sight. You have to be careful though. You have to make sure her feet are completely firmly planted. You can see there's Lucy standing behind it. She does sometimes want to lean back and in the process of doing so, sometimes does fall over. Now let's bring in some little snow pieces. There we go. And then we can put in the snowman. We'll put the snowman right there. And why not, we'll put pig pen right there. Again, I don't know why they would put pig pen with the snowman and then to include it with Lucy other than just well, let's make some snow scenes. Then we got the stool, we put that right there. Look at us de developing a world. Uh, then we have a Schroeder, and Schroeder can just sit on top of the piano for the time being. I just wanna show you what the piano looks like. It's a nice little baby piano, all done in purple, and there's a keys on the front here. Well, there are many keys on the front. You're supposed to push this down, and it's supposed to cycle through audio. I say it's supposed to, it does, but the audio is pretty rough. Let's go ahead and press it. Now, I don't feel like that's the same audio clip from, from Charlie Brown's Christmas. It feels like they re-recorded the clip it would be very hard to tell it anyways because the audio is so poor and so distorted, you can barely make out what they're saying. I would certainly have to go back, not that I need a twisted arm to do so to watch the Christmas Charlie Brown's Christmas again. Um, that's supposed to be Schroeder and then Lucy having a dialogue back and forth. The audio is so poor, so poor, that it's hard to make out. It sounds as if it's almost the same person. 
and it doesn't look like it does any other audio besides that. We can go ahead and put the piano in front of Schroeder. And Schroeder is almost a little too short. Let me just move everything back here. He's a little too short to almost fit the keys. You can see that the hands way up high, the keys way down low. It's a neat overall set. Still, I scratch my head as to why specifically these characters were all put together. They don't seem like they are supposed to go together. In fact, having Schroeder even outside makes no sense with him playing the piano. I would have kept him more so for like the interior play. At the very least, I probably would have packaged, not that I'm some expert at packaging toys, but I probably would have packaged Lucy, for example, with the psychiatric desk, which is really the real reason why I wanted to pick up this particular box set. And I probably would have actually packaged her with Charlie Brown and maybe released it only as a two-figure set. Anyway, why, why not? We could have thrown the snowman in there as well, but it's certainly one of those strange pairings of multiple characters that don't seem like they're supposed to be all part of the same scene. Going back and examining the packaging once again, Schroeder is sitting in the snow, sitting directly in the snow, getting his butt very cold and very wet in the process. That leads me then to make the following statement that the stool is intended for the psychiatric help desk. Just in case somebody was wondering and wanted to comment that in the comments section below, the stool is intended for the psychiatric help, which does make sense. That's gonna be where Charlie Brown or any of the other characters wanna get help from Lucy at the expense of five cents, which I guess is not bad considering what psychiatric help can go for nowadays. It's probably a lot more than five cents. This is a weird sort of set in which that we're throwing together three characters that don't seem to make much sense all together. Pigpen sure is putting together a rather filthy looking snowman, but at least he's out in the snow. Schroeder, I don't know why they would have put him in this set because he really should have belonged in, say for example, the Play Diorama set instead. Truthfully, the, reason, the real reason why I wanted to get this was for the psychiatric table. When I eventually have a look at Charlie Brown, I'm going to want to display him sitting on the stool, asking Lucy for some advice, five cent advice. Um, of the more letdowns of this release, this box set, it's the piano. The audio is terrible on it. I have a tough time even deciphering who is Schroeder and who is Lucy talking back and forth other than the fact of him saying Beethoven. Oh right, okay, that's Schroeder, it's not Lucy. It's a nice looking set, but it certainly welcomes more additional uh, Charlie Brown figures because I think without them, the three figures here don't seem like they all come together. They don't really belong together. You know it's a smaller fragment of a bigger picture. Still, if you've managed to pick up any of the Play Mantis Now Playing Presents Charlie Brown Christmas figures, let me know down below which ones you have. We're gonna have a look at some more of them over this magical month of December over the month of Christmas spots, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.